Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Am I out in the countryside today? It feels like it, but I'm not. I'm actually in the heart of suburbia at St John the Baptist Church um, in Old Malden. People know New Malden, this is Old Malden, which was coined in um, the 1800s when New Malden was created. But it's just uh, off the A3, I'm not far from the A3. And this church here goes right back to Saxon times. Really, really old, although this is new. So let's have a little walk, wander around. been a settlement in this area since the Iron Age but the first mention of this ch church in this area was uh, in 1086 for the Doomsday Book when it was when it was known as Maldoon which is Old English Maldoon for cross on the hill we're up on a little hill here let's say we're right by suburbia really um, Kingston's just over there Yule's just down there um, yeah, all local. But uh, I've wanted to come here for quite a while, actually. I have known about this church, but you know, the countryside ones get the vote. <laughs> Just the way I am. There's a great information board here. To Saxons, Malden would must I say Maldoon. Mal meaning the sign, June was a hill. On this hill, somewhere near this board, there once stood a Saxon sign. It marked this path, a highway, a dryway, a safe, direct way to civilization. For Saxons, this was not just a blip on the London Loop. Isn't that interesting? Lots of elms here, elm trees. Look how the ground is raised by this beautiful tomb. Interesting. Grand, magnificent tomb this is. Oh, this is the tomb of uh, Thomas Weeding. Thomas Weeding, I think, passed in the 1800s in his memorial tomb. This church has a stone and flint chancel. When there was major repair work done in 1611, that retained in the original, from the original building. They kept that in. Then there was another great refurbishment in, uh, I think, 1875. And the church was derelict by the time of Elizabeth I. And a local lad became Bishop of London and decided to have a fundraiser for his home parish. I read about this last night, and actually. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, no, um, that sort of happened. Um, Merton College are the patron. Yeah, because, am I correct? The original Merton College was here, and then he built it in Oxford as a main... Well, the, uh, he, he put his boffins, his financial boffins, in the old manor house, the previous manor house, to formulate the constitution and how it's going to be mm. financed. But there were never any students here. Right. He then went to Oxford and had students. But he drew everything up, and because he'd been Bishop of Rochester, he took all the family estates to fund his grand project. And... Uh, Malden was one of them. Wow. So it's really it's a significant site here, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah. Historically. And, and, and Merton are still Lord of the Manor. So, oh, wow. So okay. they, um, they appoint the vicar. Um, they own most of the green space, uh, like the plough, plough green. Yes, they? yeah, just driven through there, yeah. They, they own that. Uh, most of the green verges you see. Mm -hmm. They don't own Manor Park across the main road for some reason. That belongs to the council. Um, and all these 1930 houses, I've seen some of the original deeds. Merton College was the original freeholder when it was developed. Mm -hmm. And they deliberately, I, I, they came on one of their tours last summer 
and they held on uh, as Tolworth, Mal New Malden, and other things were being developed around. They held off because they knew once all that was full, they could sell bigger lots, bigger houses, bigger gardens, and make more money. Yeah, that's good. That's so they did. How lovely was that? The vicar was just opening up, the rector was just opening up for um, a congregation coming at 11 o'clock. And he gave me all the history and everything. That was fascinating. So I don't need to tell you all that, because he explained it far better than I could. So thank you so much. I'm very grateful. So there you go. A little video from St John the Baptist Church in Old Malden. Say so thank you very much to the rector for um, looking after me then. That was fantastic. So if you've enjoyed watching, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time. Take care.